Hello everybody, welcome to my kitchen. This is Yusuf and tonight we are going to have a different dish and that's a Persian dessert. There was so many requests that they asked me to make one of those and tonight the one that I'm making it is halwa. It's very famous. There are too many different kind of halwa but this is the one is a famous one and I explain it to you what the difference is going to be. The ingredients is not too much, but it needs a lots of patience. So let's go over the ingredients and start making it. Okay, uh, the main ingredients in halwa is uh, flour, a different kind, and a sugar. That's the main thing. So the one that I'm making it is a, a whole wheat flour, which is different from just the flour, the white one with, uh, for the most of the cooking. You can use that. So that makes another color and it's going to be another different halwa. The one that I'm making is going to be dark and very brown. The one is just a regular white bleach flower. It's going to be just yellowish, zaffroni color. So anyway, and some people, they make it with the chickpea flowers or just combination. So this is the one is just whole wheat flour. I have two cups of it. And I do have one and a half a cup sugar. I do have about 100 grams of butter, about five, six uh, tablespoons of liquid saffron, a quarter of the cups rose water, half a cup of cooking oil, one and a half cups water, about one third of teaspoon uh, cardamom seed power and some uh, as you see crushed uh, pistachio for garnishment. So uh, starting with make it the sugar as a syrup. That's we're going to make this diluting with the water on the heat let it cook till it start boiling all right this is one step if it happens you know we just finish it then we put it aside and we go and just start with the flour what we have to do just put the flour in there the whole thing and start putting a heat and constantly we have we have to turn this around to just comes a different color and just the smell of the wheat's gonna come up just like a fresh cooked uh, bread so we're doing this and you have to constantly turning around okay let's do that for maybe it takes about like maybe 30 to 40 minutes so that's what I said you have to have a patient for it okay make sure the heat is not too much because it burns very fast and quick so it has to be low heat that's why it takes time to just you know turn the color and be just like a satin with no oil but when it just gets enough hot and a heat, it just turn a little bit the color, then it's the time to add the uh, oil into it, which we're gonna see that. Okay, if you see the syrup is our, syrup is boiling very well. I guess this is the time to add cardamom powder, saffron, Look at the color and then turn off the heat and we add this rose water and put it aside. Done. Our syrup is done. Then later on I show you how to use it. All right. You see that that is the time that we have to add the oil because 
you see the steam's coming. It's uh, been heated enough and it's been sauteed so the taste of the rawness is gone. So that's, that's the time that we add the oil to it. And we do the same thing with the oil for another maybe 20 minutes till it gets absolutely cooked and no uh, rawness on a taste or a smell. So that's the time we're going to add the oil. I add the oil first and then add the butter later on. All right, at this time also, you can, you know, be a judge of it. So if it needs more oil, you have to add to it too, because it has to be really oily. All right, I'm going to add butter also. Okay, make sure you constantly do this and lower the heat. You don't want to be burned and the taste is going to go and it just all your uh, work is going to be ruined. Okay, believe it or not, it's been 30 minutes that I'm doing this constantly. And now it's, it's a time for it to add the syrup to this. Here we go. Okay, I'm trying to just put a little by little at the time. Right, this is how you make the halva. Okay, we're almost there. So we just uh, try to just combine everything together and reduce the heat very, very low. Or almost, we can turn it off and keep doing this till it comes to one piece together which will happen okay this has been <clears throat> done and is ready but it's too hot for me to hand uh, handle this so i have to leave it for about like a half an hour or so to get a little bit colder then i put it in the dish and be ready for a serve see you then All right, guys, this is our halva. And as you see, it's not very oily, which that's why the way that I like it. But usually they use more oil or butter. So it's kind of gonna be shiny, oily. But uh, for me, this is perfect. So you can eat it just by the spoon or bread, or just put it in a ice cream wafer it's totally up to the people how they want to eat that okay guys thank you very much for watching my video till next time with another persian dish bye